Greetings and welcome back to edtechmoment.com. I'm your host, Tim McKean. In my last couple episodes, we've taken a look at the online presentation tool, Prezi. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Prezi Viewer app on the iPad. The Viewer app is a free download in the App Store, and when we first launch it, we have to log in, and then you're brought to uh, your Prezi library, where you have two main sections. The top section has Prezi's that you've already downloaded into your Prezi app, and then in the bottom section here, we can see all the Prezi's that you've already created online and are ready to be downloaded. Let's go ahead and download the Prezi that we created in the last episode. So I tap on that to download it, and you can see that it's downloading it. Okay, it's ready to view. Now if I go back to my library, you can see that now I have two episodes that have, or two presentations that have been downloaded ready to view. So you don't have to have an internet connection to view the presentations once you have them downloaded to your iPad. Let's go ahead and load it up and take a look at it. When I first enter the presentation, I'm given the main view, and if I tap the question mark in the upper right hand corner, then I'm given some instructions. Tap and hold to edit any object, uh, double tap to zoom in on an object, and then use two fingers to rotate and zoom. So I can get rid of those instructions, and I can tap, double tap on any object to zoom in on it, or I can use my regular pinch and rotate to move around in my presentation. Okay. While this is primarily a viewer application, I can do some minor edits as well. Like it said, I can tap and hold to do some editing. So if I wanted to replace this picture, not replace it, but move it, I can tap and hold on it. And now I can move this picture by dragging it around. I can use a two finger pinch to enlarge it or rotate it, and then tap back outside the object to lock it back down. If I need to adjust a text item, I can tap and hold on that item, and now I can move it around just as before, or I can click on the little edit button and actually edit the text. This is great for making any minor last minute changes to your presentations. But remember, you still need to do the creation of your Prezi on a computer with an internet connection. I can also use these arrows on the side to review my path. So I'm getting ready for my presentation. I want to remember what path I set up, what order things are going to go in. So I can use the arrows to kind of review my path, make sure everything's in place, and then I'm ready to go. When I've got my path reviewed and everything's fixed, ready to start, all I have to do is tap the show button in the upper right hand corner and that puts me into full screen presentation mode. Again, I'm given a little bit of instructions, tap towards the right side of the screen to move forward in my path, and the left side of my screen to move backwards in my path. So again, I can follow the path just as before, but the nice thing about Prezi is that it is a non-linear presentation tool. So I can use my gestures, pinch and zoom, move things around to move freely within my app without using the path as well. I can double tap on any item to zoom in, tap on any frame, even the video that I've embedded from YouTube plays nicely as long as I have a internet connection. Hi, welcome to EdTech. Tap the corner there to get out of that, and then the right side to move forward in my path. Tap the picture, I can even zoom in on the picture, double tap it again to move back out, and tap on the frame to move out for the big picture at the end. When I'm done with my presentation, I can tap the little square in the upper right hand corner to get back to my out of the presentation mode and then the home button or the home icon in the upper left hand corner to move back to my library. Save the changes I've made and then back to my presentation library. So the Prezi Viewer app can be a great way to view or present your Prezi's even if you don't have an internet connection while you're giving your presentation. As long as you've downloaded ahead of time and don't have any embedded YouTube content. Download it and show it straight from your iPad without a computer or an internet connection. Please visit our website edtechmoment.com for more tutorials on this and other topics. Subscribe to our podcast feed in iTunes or our YouTube channel to be automatically updated when new episodes are available. Send an email at feedback at edtechmoment.com and send in your questions so that we can answer them. Or follow us at edtechmoment on Twitter. And now special for you, the listeners of EdTech Moment Podcast, Audible is offering a free audiobook 
download with a 30-day trial to give you the opportunity to check out the service. Want to read The Hunger Games so you know what your students are talking about? Audible has this title or 100,000 others to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or other MP3 player. To download your free audiobook today, go to audibletrial.com slash edtechmoment. Again, that's audibletrial.com slash edtechmoment for your free audiobook. Thanks again for taking a moment.